December 15th there. We're gonna do a quick little look here just to see what's going on. We got some weasel tracks. A big gant there, so it could be a big weasel. Well, Karen, on with her evening check here. We had one uh, snare bumped, and then we got a coyote right here. Looks like a nice coyote caught in a lice out snare. Something stiff. Nice high catch there. Couldn't ask for a better catch. I will uh, free it up. Came down this heavy trail. We'll see what we got once we get to the shop there and see how the snare reacted. All right, just coming in and that was our sweet pinch spot. And just follow the cable over and we got ourselves a coyote, another one here. A little bit of a younger one, but nice color. We passed two other snares, there's no activity there. And then I was thinking that uh, I missed a couple snares that I forgot to set up there, but uh, we'll take this. Another nice catch. Okay, our roadkill's just ahead here a little bit. And this is where we put our snare. And there was a heavy, heavy trail. And look at that, we got nothing. And here, when the guy thinks he's going to get her, he doesn't. I'm going to come back here on Saturday and uh, set up a little bit better. It's running short on time there the other day. So we'll see what else there is for tracks. But it got hit hard there the first day we had it. And now it's slowed right down. Don't know what to tell you. But... Uh, We'll get her. I might have started just using this heavy trail right here. Come in, chew on the back end, and then carry on. Okay, well, gonna head home here now. The wolf sets. I've just been waiting and waiting to uh, go and get them. But it's probably better that I wait until until daylight there to go check them, make sure I can see all the sign and put extra snares if I need to. But two dogs isn't bad, only for a couple of snares out. Uh, this one here, thought I would have had one for sure, but. Uh oh. Sound like a wolf howl in there. Hold on. Not wolves, it's just coyotes. Can't see me, I have my lights turned off here, but. They're coming for me. All right. Well, maybe I'll have one next time I come. Sounds like three or four of them yipping in the background there. All right, I'll catch you back at the shop. Well, we're back in the shop and we have the coyotes here. Take a quick look at how they're caught. So here's the two coyotes, bigger male here. It looks more gray and woolly in the camera than he does in, in normal. And, a nice little female here, nice and light. Female was in the power ram. And uh, nice high neck catch. No issues there. This one here we'll hang up and take a look at. And uh, it's right by the base of the neck here. You can see nice high snare catch. We'll just take a quick look at it here. So just looking here, the trigger to even fire, it's nice and tight in there. I can't get 
my finger in there at all, but it just didn't uh, didn't pop. Did the job though. Nice high neck catch. Probably if it would have been down a little bit more, it would have popped. It would have fought a little bit more from the disturbance of the site. It just went around a couple times and laid down. But there you go. Not very froze, which is good because it just takes less time to thaw out. But nice, uh, nice catch there. Kind of wanted to see this go off, but fire it here. Nope, can't do it. Okay, we'll get this other one hung up here in a couple days. We'll give her a skin. Going up. Well, I'm really fighting that urge to go check those wolves, but uh, got to hold off. Tomorrow night, I got a Christmas party to go to, and then uh, Saturday morning, we'll get up, hopefully early, hopefully our heads aren't too fat, and we'll go check that out. Got a little bit of bait to spread out still, and then we're going to get out these bins here. This one's got beavers and mixed stuff. That one's a tub of guts that's been in here for, I don't know, a week and a bit, so it's making this place reek, and some beaver hides is going to cut up in strips, but... They're nice and rotten too, so didn't get a chance to do that. Um, but we'll still use it. And uh, I don't want to go to that wolf bait there in the dark. So I'm going to save this till Saturday morning so I can see what's going on and hopefully we get lucky. Then we'll go hang a few more snares at different spots. Um, yeah, I got to do with the snare count tonight. Got lots of power ram snares, but. Uh, Wolf snares, I think I might be a little skinny on. So I might make a few of those. Play that by ear. Um, yeah, so we'll see you guys Saturday morning. Well, last night we got a big snowstorm or yesterday the road was shut down the highway and stuff and uh, yeah interesting then we had a Christmas party so today got up a little bit early worked on a video there should be coming out soon and gonna get uh, things kind of going here I have to skin these coyotes here they're ready to be skinned that beavers 100% thawed now and these pails have got to go they're nasty. Stinking up the shop. Let's take a little boo outside there and see what uh, it's all happening. There you go. Blake plowed the snow last night, but uh, the drift was halfway up the door. Blake sent us a little video. I'll see if I can send that to you. He had to get the quad out and do some plowing. Still not the best out there today, but I was just praising old red here had the plow hooked up to it and uh, well, I was gonna hook the plow up to it and then it just uh, turned it off because it's hooking up the wiring then go to start it and then it wouldn't start so I went and got Blake there with his truck 
and uh, I think we got some other issues here. Could be head gasket, we're thinking. It uh, didn't overheat or nothing like that, that I know of. And then I went to go and I couldn't start it. It was like it was liquid locked and then the bike came and it must have bled off and he turned the key and started. And then just shortly after that, we get small coolant and temperature came up. So we turned it off there and did some investigating, unhooked the plow and uh, yeah, bring her to town, get her checked out. Let's see what's going on. So in this little blast of snow here, I'm pretty sure this trailer is, all the snow is off. Maybe there was just an inch or so, but uh, now there's over a foot, making it a little bit tougher to get around. So it's nice to have the plow, but we'll have to figure something out there, something else out. All right, Blake, keep traveling. So her faces are red there. Little red is dead for now. And uh, we're just using Blake's truck to go check the snares. So we'll go around right here, Blake, and uh, check it out. But uh, yeah, not all that good. Well, here at one of the baits there, Blake brought me in. It's a good trail there. It's not the one that we have our snare on. And the one we had our snare on is still there. One coyote kind of hopped through there. Fresh, fresh snow, like it just stopped snowing here. Probably three hours ago, but the wind's blowing. Came in here, turned around. All right, we'll get turned around ourselves. See you probably at home here. Well, didn't get that out. Still stinks in here. Gonna work on the coyotes here. Earlier, I was just saying praise to the red truck there and uh, go in, hook the plow up, and the red truck puked. There she uh, blew head gasket, I think. Uh, liquid locked the cylinders so she wouldn't start. Came back later, then a pressure let down, could fire it up, but it wasn't happy. And uh, so we worked the rest of the afternoon to get it onto a trailer. There, uh, that was a bit of a chore. Uh, yeah, so we can decide if we're gonna fix it up or what we're gonna do. Get a quote on it anyways and go from there. But uh, if we decide to put it to rest, I'll have to find another, another truck to replace it because I need a beater for hunting and trapping. And the way things are, it's not uh, not the best right now. Used truck prices are way up and everything else, but. All right, so we didn't get uh, anything really done today. Blake and I drove around the loop there and there was nothing that moved from the snowstorm. And I was gonna get the schedule all set up today too, but we're busy getting that truck going here, so. All right, uh, tomorrow's a fresh day. And we'll start over. How's that? Okay, so we're gonna start a fresh day here. Uh, minus 23 outside. And uh, looking over things there with the truck, with the head gasket. I'm gonna get a price to fix it, or maybe Blake and I will tackle it ourselves here and uh, kind of go from there uh our time's worth money too but we'll see what we can get done here during the christmas break we both have some time off but i'm gonna go see if i can fire up my snowmobile and then get some uh, fuel in there and see if we can hook up a sleigh and stuff like that um, new day new challenges the lock on the shop here is a keypad and that quit working, it's not the batteries, it's something inside that's seized up. So I'll see if I can rip that apart. Happened a couple years ago, got that fixed. So just par for the course. All right, we're gonna get outside and see what we can do here. We got a pile of snow here. We had the driveway all shoved out there last night and she's all 
bunged up again. So we'll make our way over the sled and see what, uh, what we can get going. Well, she fired right up. I was actually surprised. I gave her a quick little bump and it turned over and fired. And then it uh, stalled out a couple seconds in and then uh, gave her another bump. And there you go. So I'll let it uh, warm up a bit while I wrangle out a sleigh and get things kind of lined up. Maybe I can put in my small enclosed and get closer to my spots or skidoo for an hour in each direction. All right, let's grab a sleigh here. Pulling out the sleigh here. Got to figure out which hitch is which. It's been a while. Lots of snow here. Okay. You can see the wind just blowing here. Not a pleasant day. Okay, it's a quick fix here. Got all our stuff, we got a little Tupka in there. Uh, snowmobile's warmed up, turned itself off twice. I think it just reaches temperature and turns itself off. I don't know yet, I hope that's the only thing. Bundled up a little bit with my army surplus coat. Just gotta do all my flaps up there and then we're on the road. We'll check her out as we go. Cross your fingers and wish me luck. Well, we made it, not much for tracks, but the weather's been terrible and uh, not much moved here, but my fingers are freezing. But we'll uh, get this unloaded, brought some power rams here. If there was any sign, I'd set them up. Skidoo so did pretty good, we broke some trail and uh, got lost there in one trail, but made her back. Oh, the wind's cold here. Well, we're gonna go in there and see what's going on. The snare's right ahead of us there. Nothing's really been in here just for coyotes. That was through the night. Nothing fresh. Our bait's just in there. Gotta dump that. Had to take a break and go check the snares. Partly anticipation and partly just played out from dragging that. Um, so I'm just kind of packing down a trail the best I can. Here it'll stiffen up and then all these little tight spots I'm making trails through. I can hang power rounds here after. Uh, it's supposed to stay cold here and not much for snow in the next week or so. So gotta get things lined up for using the skidoo there. Gotta, gotta sort, sort my shit. And uh, yeah. But I'm going to finish walking this out and then I'll finish unloading and head back home and then we'll do some work there, get things organized a bit. Beautiful day. It's nice in here, no wind. When you're out in the field, the wind's blowing pretty good. Still about minus 24 without the wind. I'll have to check what it is with the wind. On the way over here, I've seen some lynx tracks, weasel tracks, and marten tracks. So might uh, just set some Martin boxes on the way home. We'll see how the fingers are doing. All right, we'll catch you in a bit. There's a solid block. Here to hide some fresh goodies, some hides and other goodies. Got to finally empty it out and we'll get the shop smelling better now. But uh, not much going on out here. I'll have to come back here in a couple days, check everything out again. With a little red down, she's a skidoo in only project. Too many drifts and whatnot. Wolves haven't been back, so they must be on a circuit. And let's see if they're back by the time we get back. I think everything's still looking good. All the snares are up high. Even with the snow here, it's just a little perfect. And uh, we'll get heading back home. A couple spots, like I mentioned, I could probably put Martin sets. So we'll take a look at that on the way back. And actually across this field here, I wanna go check something out. Thought the other day, I thought I, could, thought I found a good spot to 
put a wolf bait with some good cover. So go check that out now. It's not too far. We're here now. All right, we'll give you guys an update once we stop the next time. Stay warm. Okay, so we on the road a little bit here and we're just getting ready to put our first Martin set in. Nice uh, spruce and pine. Some good squirrel sign here. We're gonna put our box just off the trail a little bit. In the bush, I like to do that. Just uh, animals seem to be in 10 yards from the fringe. So we'll uh, accommodate them and put the trap in there and see what happens. So the first thing I do is clean off all the branches off the tree. Find one branch that's solid enough to anchor to. And I just drive a nail in. And then on my box, I have these holes here. You'll see that in a second. And this one has just one hole for the nail. And these ones are for supports. Gotta get my bait back in here. Okay, I got the bait back in. I was just shaking the snow out. That's what made it fall out. I got that back in there. I got the hole here. Now we're just gonna hang it up here. Right there on the nail. And that's how it's gonna hang. Now I'll put my trap up in there with the trigger down and then the rods. I'll show you here. It'll make it a little bit better. Okay, this is the finished product here. This rod's sticking out. It's a little longer than normal. Uh, so what happens here, there's this one here. This rod goes through the springs and then kind of keeps it stable. So then the Martin goes up, puts his foot on the jaw, pulls himself through, and then whap, gets caught. I got a little stick here with some Martin magic. And then I also mark a little bit more Martin magic up here just to get in the air in case that one gets knocked down. And then what happens when the Martin gets caught, it just, the pins sometimes fall out and the Martin's hanging here or it'll just be caught just hanging there straight by the neck and can stack them like cords of wood. Anyways, we'll get the snowmobile started up and mark this trail here, mark the set, and then we'll get going. All right, this is our fourth Martin box we got up. Showed you the first one there, and uh, this is pretty much the same. Got a little bit of a lure stick on top. I'll stick it straight up there in a second. I got, uh, the pins in. I used to number these and then I would keep track by the number, but too hard to do. Uh, trying to keep them in order. But again, we got our rod going right through the spring to the rods to the tree, keep it stable. Again, it's not really going anywhere. Wired, so if it gets caught, it hangs away. All this is loose and gone. And yeah, just uh, a good spot here. Just gonna start going down into a slough kind of thing. So a nice high ridge to central carry down and uh, hopefully draw things in. All right, it feels like it's warming up or I'm just moving around a bit more, one of the two. So I don't know how many more sets uh, on this trail I'll put. Uh, they're, I don't know, they vary in uh, distance. One's like 300 yards from the other one and this one's probably six, seven hundred yards from the last one. Just traveling down here anyway, so I might as well have a few sets out and then we can go from there. All right, we'll catch you at the next set or back at the shop here, one of the two. There's Little Red there in the trailer. Rest in peace. Maybe Blake and I will try and get her back together here 
during the Christmas break, we got a bit of time off together and we'll see how much it is to get her done. All right. Well, coming to another bait here. Let's see if this old girl fires up there, minus 23. I guess not an old girl. like a kid. Okay, then so we'll get the sleighs out and get going. Going along on the loop here. Just checking things out and uh, had that snare closed there. It looked like a deer went through and bumped it. So I just fixed it up. And uh, yeah, still minus 20. 324 depends where you're at and we're just gonna go check the loop real quick Blake and I checked it yesterday I'm just seeing if there's anything else going on and then I have uh, that wolf bait that's not too too far another two miles away and I'll go check that and hang a Martin box and then uh, head home and work in the shop all right catch you in the next set Okay, we're just making the loop here and uh, it's where the wolves went through one time and put a power ram see the ram's gone let's go see what uh, what we got see the cable stretched out and it looks like a snow bump there Looks like a, a coyote. Fur looks good. All right, we'll get it out, remake it, and then carry on. Well, we got it all remade there. And then I just realized this is the first uh, fur on this one, so broke its cherry. Let's see what else is going on. I think there's one more snare down here and then one at another spot. And then we'll put up a Martin box or two. And the, oh, pardon me, burpee. And then uh, check out that big bait that I want to shoot them from. Okay, we'll carry on. There's a Martin box. We got that other Donahue little tin hat thing to put up next. But this is a good spot here through the years. Caught lots of Martin here. All right, this old pole here, he used to catch them on, but then it broke off. This, this thing's probably 10 years old, 15 years old in there. All right. Days are getting short. Gonna catch you guys with the next set here. Miss her already. Nice heavy trail. This other new bait here. I'm not gonna walk in there, but let's walk over here. Slowly curving. Big trail there. Alright, maybe next weekend, Christmas day or something, or Boxing Day, I'll come out here and put some snares. This will still be here, nice and rock hard. They got one pig pretty much emptied out, but. So I piled them up on top of each other so they have to work a little harder. The other one's opened up there. Interesting. Alright. I seen what I wanted to see. Now I know what I gotta bring out here next time. Alright, well I'm gonna go hang a Martin box here and do another loop and head home. Just gonna get started here doing a 
the coyotes. Had a little cooler in here, so it wasn't too bad. We'll get that done and then rip the hide off the beaver. Just going to do that, then work on the quad, move that. Going to move things around a bit here tonight and then see if I can get things fixed up a bit. And a bit more organized. Might as well do that while it's cold outside. I'm predicting minus 30 here for the next week, more or less. So, see how that goes. Sled performed pretty good today. Quite a bit of snow and just getting used to it, but I like it so far. Nice and quiet. Snuck up on some deer and stuff like that and packed down some trails. But, uh, yeah. Little update. Uh, finished off those kites there. This one had a little bit of a green belly, but nothing too bad. <clears throat> this kite we caught today, full of snow, brushed it off. A little light in the shoulders there, but we'll see once it's all uh, dried up, see what it looks like. And then uh, I just took the trapping bags and then realized they were full of snow and whatnot, so I took them in, emptied them out. Got to figure out some kind of a box there for the new sled. The old uh, Polaris wide track had a deadly box there. This other one, I thinking about getting a plastic one, but I don't, I want to customize something there. So I've been kind of thinking and drawing a little bit and uh, we'll see when I can get time to do that. But I'm going to work on this little quad here, get the tire fixed there. It's got a slow leak. I want to get that fixed. Battery weak or dead in it. So I was going to put a master switch on that. And then that way you can turn it off and see if, keep it from draining or if something's draining it, I'm not sure. Get that out of the shop and get everything else kind of reorganized here over the next couple of days. But there we go. That's it. Going in, watching a little uh, 3.30 Maniac there, doing some muskrat trapping. 9.22, we'll wrap things up here and uh, clean things up a little bit and uh, head in. Color day, catch you at the next set.